Good afternoon, man. 25 gamers. Today's episode of Offensive Scheme of the Week. We are using the Atlanta Offensive Playbook. And we are going to be focusing on how to beat man coverage from this playbook. And it's a lot of different methods uh, to do that out of the Atlanta Playbook this week. But uh, the, the one I like the most, um, obviously the one I really like is from the Type Flex. Unfortunately, we cannot get to that from our Quick Audibles. Um, so I like to check down into the single back and the tight doubles and remember we like to flip our formation and the play we're going to focus on is the slot fade and I'm just going to show you how to man under so uh, first and foremost the halfback dive what we like to do is we like to motion Jones all the way across the formation and snap right there and we're going to go and of course you can you can mix it up and, and snap in the A gap if you want whatever the next thing we want to focus on is the PA wide receiver cross, probably my favorite play in the formation. And what we like to do is we like to motion Jones all the way across, and we're going to snap as if we were in the halfback dive, so when he gets over here. And we're, our first read on this play is going to be X, uh, crossing the middle of the field, Hawkins. You see that that route beats man-to-man -man coverage really well. The next read on this play is going to be, um, well, I can't. Uh, one sec, guys. This stupid controller. I swear, I'm really about sick of buying controllers. I've only bought like 25 controllers, and it's really starting to get on my nerves. That every time I buy a controller, there's always something wrong with it. Okay, let's 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 just hike the freaking wall, get it out of this play, and, and go do something else. Okay. So the next read on the PA wide receiver cross. Apologize for the inconvenience of the controller issue. Um. The next play on the PA wide receiver cross is going to be, or, or excuse me, the next read rather, is going to be Jones. And basically he's going to cut back to the inside and do a pretty good job against being man there. Um, the third read really isn't that good against man, I'll be honest. Uh, it's more of a zone read, Gresham's route. It's good, but it's not perfect. Uh, it's more of a user catch, passing down to the outside. You're going to click on, you see you can get picked against man. That's why I don't like it that much, because it quarters... It won't be open in 4-3 stack. It will be open. So if there's a linebacker on him, you're good. If there's not a linebacker on him in their corner, I would suggest looking away from that route. The last route uh, to green is probably the best, one of the better routes in the game. Passing down into the outside, and you see he does a really good job. 35-yard gain there against man. So that's PA wide receiver cross, guys. Um, stick, I really don't run it. Um, I'll be honest with you. But there are, we can just use universal hot routes like zigs and, and slants and drags to beat man out of that. Slot fade is the play I really want to focus on. What I like to do is I like to put Gresham on a slant pattern, green on a drag pattern. I like to motion Bernard to the right, and then I'll put him on a wheel. Or, you actually have to put him on a swing pass first, and then you can motion him. And basically I'm going to put him on a wheel here. And the first read on this play is going to be Jones here. You see he's going to do a really good job at beating man. Um, now, obviously, remember, our team of the week is actually the Raiders, I think. But due to a little mix-up with the recording schedule, I unfortunately grabbed the Bengals for this guide. Um, but the first read is Jones. You see with the pass lead to the right, it does a good job of beating uh, man. The second read is going to be the running back, which is pretty nice because it's basically just right next to him. So it's, it's really a two-man read at the same time. Um, it's basically what's going to happen here. And you're going to see Bernard does a good job. Um, he's more of a zone read. Uh, and, and sometimes what will happen is so actually they won't cover him. Um, because if, if you're playing someone who's you know trying to make user plays and stuff, sometimes they don't cover the running back. And so we can take advantage of that. But you see here, Pasley is wheel route to the right. Does a pretty good job against beating man. And then lastly, or not lastly, but uh, third read is going to be Gresham. And you see his route's going to kill man. Slants to the tight ends are very effective here. Our fourth read really isn't that good against man. The drag to green is more of a zone check down in case of worst. But what we can do with it is we can playmaker it upfield and just lob it over his man. And you see it does a good job of getting separation there. And then the last read is more of a max coverage situation where a defense may be running, you know, heavy heavy man-to-man -man coverage with a lot of you're dropping some zones as well. The fade on the left, when it cuts to the inside here, it's going to give you a good job. It basically turns into a very deep in route. And does a pretty good job against beating man coverage. So, guys, that's our basic man beaters from the 
Atlanta Falcons offensive playbook. Be sure to come back tomorrow. Check out our base zone beaters from this Atlanta Falcons playbook. Look forward to sharing that with you. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great evening.